Hello all and welcome to SproutPlus.com. This is your host Emmanuel and welcome to yet another video. Now today we are going to discuss about Pingdom and uh, it is a speed optimization site. Uh, why do we use Pingdom? Pingdom is a website that we are going to use to monitor our site and to check our site speeds. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to search Pingdom. Now here, I'm going to enter the site. This is how the Pingdom site looks like. And uh, if you want, you can start a 30 day free trial or you can request demo. So let's look into the pricing. To customize your Pingdom subscription, you can choose either synthetic monitoring or real user monitoring, which is which is like ten dollars a month. Okay, so you'll be paying uh, two forty dollars per year. So that's it. This is for premium subscription. We can also do this as free, and I'm gonna show you how. In Pingdom, you can also monitor sites for free and there are a lot of capabilities Pingdom will offer for you when you log in. So first I'm gonna log in. So this is how my home page looks like. And as you can see, there is visitor insights, uptime, page speed and transactions. Uh, so let me explain you one by one. So I'll click on Visitor Insights. Here, uh, I've added a site very recently, so I don't have any data. But here, there's a demo site which they offer to you. And here, you can check what all the information that you're going to get uh, in the monitoring. So I'm just going to click on View Details. Here, you can see the active sessions, load time, which is 6.20 seconds, and abdex score, which is 0.75, and bounce rate. If you want to know what is bounce rate, I'll include a video in the description that you can make use of. Okay. Now, coming over here, there is something called load time by top countries. So it will show you country specific information. Uh, what is the load time in United States, in Canada, in Mexico, in Brazil, in Russia, in the Turkey, or wherever you want to check. And then, coming to the sessions, there are totally 10.1k sessions. That is, total amount of sessions split across new and returning users. So the visit duration and uh, how many pages the user viewed on your page, that average is 10.1K. So after that, here are some bar graphs and the session reports in pie charts, beautiful pie charts. And here you can see how many people have accessed your site through desktop, through phone, through tablet. And uh, these are the platforms. And then you will check what are the browsers they used? Chrome, Firefox, Pingbot, other. Okay. And then here you can see uh, how many people are satisfied in your site, and people who are tolerating your site, and people who are frustrated in your site. So this pretty much shows uh, how your site is performing. Okay. Inside your site, you might have several uh, sections where you can see how many people are visiting the page per section. So you can track it down over here and then you can go. So this is actually the load times that was tracked over time. So you can see 6.10 p.m. and after that you can see 8.50 p.m. here and you can see 5 a.m. in the morning. And what was the difference in the load times? You can see hour by hour report. And after that, you can click on geography you can just uh, check only China. So how was your load time in China only? And then you can, and then you can, and then you can check for Malaysia. 
and then you can check for South Africa or you want to check all three you can do whatever you want so this is the load time with respect to geography and then you click on the platform and here if you want to know only the report for phones you can do it like this and if you want only the report for desktop you can do it like this or you want all the three data for tablet phone and desktop you can do it here as well and then coming to browser I think you might have got the point you can play with this you can just check how many people have visited your site using edge using uh, back to spider render other Samsung petal board okay Opera browser Safari browser Firefox Chrome whatever okay so next I'm gonna click on pages here you can check the load time of each page in your site specifically and in case if a page loads very slow you can optimize that also so this is a very elaborate load time with a, with a bunch of options that you can look at and you can edit your site so next we'll hop into the page views section how many page views in this particular time so there is a timeline here which will show you how many page views from one particular point in time to the other particular point in time and then you can do it for location wise platform wise browser wise and then page wise similar to load times you can look at the page views per hour per day and uh, according to the geographical location platform browser etc and then you can look at active sessions how many you can actually check how many active session in a particular time particular location particular platform browser pages etc so this is very useful report as you can see Kingdom gives you an exclusive fantastic report on how your site performs and then you can look at the performance tab here I'm gonna click here and here you can see what is the average load time what is the time to first byte and then what is the time for client processing and how many page views per minute and you can check the load time also here overall load times state load times pages all those things and then here so as you can see at the top is 26 page views per minute and that is between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. so it's cool you can know all these cool details and then you can look at the top pages people who have visited this page the second one has increased by 12.7% but all the other pages have reduced significantly so you can manage your pages and all kinds of that stuff so I'm gonna go and click back to home and after that you can see something called uptime over here I'm gonna click on get started and here at the bottom of this page I can click on add check and here I can give the name of the check like uh, usual I can check the email app time speeds and I can check the network and I can check the web okay so if I want to check the web I have to give an URL over here I can also test from different locations and if I want I can type the tags here I can give importance and I can set I can set whom to alert if you have a team you can select the team or if you want to select yourself you can select that too I have selected myself here over here whenever there is a problem with the uptime I'll get notified so I can just click on create check and the check will be created all right let's go to home again now I'm gonna click on page speed I have already added a site here which is firmsdesk.com and I've got a pretty good score of a 97 I'm gonna quickly click on this And it'll give me the last seven days report first July to 8 July so I have very good performance for my site and I've got a pretty good load time speed as well page size is within three megabytes 
and requests are also less. So again you can see the page load time over here and also this is something very interesting. Pingdom shows you how individual elements in your sites get loaded. It will show you how individual elements are loaded in your site in a very elaborate manner. Here you can check which element is taking more time and you can do something about it. So it is very good and then it will show you how many tests it has conducted so far and in all those tests what is the scores what is the grade and after that you can check the content size and then you can check the requests and you can check the content uh, content size by domain and you can check the request by domain and all those things So this is what speed test is all about. Again, I'm gonna click on home. And here, finally, I'm gonna click on transactions. I'm gonna scroll down. And in transaction, it means that you can edit your scripts. You can edit your, you can in transactions you can edit your scripts so I'm gonna quickly click on add check and here I can type transaction 1 I can type uh, transaction I can type uh, transaction 1 and I can set the interval to 10 minutes or 20 minutes depending on whatever my requirement is I can also test from different locations all I have to do is just click here and just I have to type the code go to URL and then I'll, I have and then I'll give a space and then I'm gonna just type my and then I'll just type my website's URL And over here, if you want to remove any CSS codes or if you want to remove any scripts, you can do that over here. And then if you want to include any tags, you can do it here as well. And if there is a problem, who to alert, you can set yourself or you can set a team member over here. And then all you have to do is create check. As of now, I have not created any check, so I'm going to just close it. I'll go back to home and that's it this is pretty much everything about pingdom and uh, if you want to start a speed test if you want to check your uptime if, if you want to see the visitor insights of your site you can do everything here so I hope I have covered all the details about pingdom and I hope it was useful to you guys until we meet in the next video thanks a lot and please subscribe to us if you like our content.